Traveler Tiff. We made it. We're here in Bellingham, Washington, checking out all the different local dessert shops, finding the best desserts for you. And I think that's exactly what we did here. We are at It's the Sweet Fanes, and we are going to try their iconic Ube crinkle cookie that they are known for. We have the big mango crinkle cut cookie that has vanilla bean ice cream in there. And then we also have their s'mores bar. And I don't know about you, I didn't get a good enough 4th uh, of July s'mores, so I am definitely gonna try their s'mores bar. You can see the layers of the chocolate and the marshmallow on top, and then it has like the graham cracker crust. So let's see if we end up getting a happy dance. You also wanna know where Bellingham, Washington is. It's a little bit from Canada, about an hour and a half's drive from Vancouver, BC and then about an hour away from Seattle. So we are really close to a lot of different area right here where they have yummy desserts. So make sure that you are hitting that subscribe button. You don't wanna be missing out on any of the desserts that we are gonna try these last couple of days. We have tried a lot. And you also wanna make sure that you're following me over on TikTok if you're not already, because I do post some of my desserts over there too. And you never know where I'm gonna be, where I'm gonna end up, or in this case, what I'm gonna find for you. So. Let's go ahead and dig in. Let's see if we get a happy dance. We're gonna try the s'mores bar first. All right, we're gonna try the first dessert. The reason I took a little pause is because I didn't know if you could hear the train in the background, but you know what, when you're filming live, that's what happens. So we're gonna go ahead and dig into this yummy graham cracker dessert. It looks really good. It has a s'mores bar. It is graham cracker on the bottom. It has layers of chocolate and marshmallow. Look at that, yum. All right, first bite, best bite. Let's go ahead and dig in and try it. All right, here we go. Mmm. First thing you get is definitely that chocolate rich fudge. You get the marshmallows that are nice and soft and fluffy. Um, I have to be honest with you though, I'm a little disappointed because I'm not getting the full like s'mores feel to this. Like, I don't know, it's just not a roasted marshmallow or what it is, it's throwing me off, but it is good. It is like a rich, yummy dessert. Not my favorite though. I'd have to give this probably a seven, but they do have lots of desserts. So we're gonna go ahead and try what they're known for, which is their ube cookie. So let's go ahead and try it. All right, the second dessert that we're gonna go ahead and try is their ube crinkle cookie. I didn't know what ube was. It is a purple yam and it is a more of a um, Filipino, um, something that they're known for with the different taste. So I'm super excited. The pastry chef that was back there today ended up telling us that we have got to try these ube crinkle cookies. And I have to tell you, they had a ube cheesecake that looked amazing, but you know, we're only gonna try three desserts, can't try them all today. But I definitely will think I'll have to make a special trip down here to try that ube cheesecake. It looked good. But all right, let's go ahead and try this cookie. Looks really good. It's nice and soft with the texture. And you know, purple is my favorite color. So I don't know, I might be a little biased on this one. Let's see what we think. Oh, wow. All right. If I knew that I should be eating my vegetables and that that is a yam, I think that's a vegetable. I would have been eating these a lot more in my earlier age. These are actually really good. The texture is nice and soft. Has a little bit of a very sweet, but it's very mild too. So I feel like I could eat a lot of these and not feel guilty because it doesn't really feel like I'm eating a cookie, like a really rich decadent cookie, but it is nice and flavorful. I'd have to give this a solid eight. I didn't think I was gonna like this as much, but ube is actually a pretty good flavor. So I'm new to the party. If you like ube, uh, comment down below. Tell me what you've tried and what I'm missing out on because again, I'm learning and I did not know what I was missing. So let's go ahead and see if the next one gets a happy dance. All right, the third dessert, I know, and the last dessert, want want that we're gonna go ahead and try. It is melting, because it is getting warm outside. This is their mango cookie, their crinkle uh, cookie, and the only way you can get the mango is with the ice cream. And it has vanilla bean ice cream shoved inside. This looks really good. It looks really light. I can't wait to dig in, because I would have ordered probably a dozen of these mango cookies, but I guess you can only get it with the ice cream. So let's see if it makes the hype. Oh, you guys can smell the mango. It smells so fresh. Oh my God. Wow. 
Wow. Hey guys, I'm feeling it. I think so. I think it's getting a happy dance. This is a solid 10. Oh my gosh. You can smell the mango. It smells so fresh. It has that tang to it. It feels like I'm eating just a fresh mango. And then not to boot, I got vanilla bean ice cream shoved in between these two cookies. This is a solid 10. You guys are in Bellingham, Washington. I'm telling you, don't walk, run over here. Get this cookie, you won't be sorry. And I also saw that they have an ube cookie that has vanilla bean ice cream in it. So definitely check it out. If you like desserts though, make sure you're hitting that follow button, hitting that subscribe and the, all the buttons that you need to push because I'm telling you, you're missing out if you don't try this. If you like desserts, make sure you watch my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Friday. Bye. All right, YouTube says watch this next video. I don't know, are they a lion or not? And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.